Who's the cutest, cuddliest cat we know who reads to all of the kids? It's Mr. Whiskers and his friends. Hello there, everyone. I'm so happy you could join us. Mr. Koala and I were just talking about going shopping, which reminded me of a fun story by Gail Gritz called Grandpa's Gift. A story about a shopping trip with Great Grandpa Bill that turns into quite the hullabaloo. And without further ado, sit back and relax. Rest your head, your nose and your toes. Open your eyes and open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. Girls, girls, settle down now. It's time to go, said Grandma Vorna as she reached for her car keys. Come on, Grandpa, said Reba as she and Catherine pulled Great Grandpa Bill up from his rocking chair. We're heading to town. Bounding out the door, the girls jumped into the back seat. They chatted happily as Grandpa's car rumbled down the country lane toward town and their shopping adventure. Ambling from store to store, the family did their business, paid bills, bought groceries and visited with friends and relatives. At some point, they always wound up at Mary's Variety Store. While the grandmothers searched through the greeting cards, Reba and Catherine explored the vast array of candy and toys with Great Grandpa Bill. Oh look, Grandpa! They have a necklace with a blue stone! Blue is my favourite colour, said Reba. Look, Grandpa, Catherine called. Old maid cards! We could all play together! Grandpa, Grandpa, pick up sticks! Yes, yes, came Grandpa's patient reply. But the necklace will break too easily and the pickup sticks will be all over the place. Maybe the cards are a better choice? This is a beautiful doll, Grandpa. And I found some blowing bubbles. That would be fun, said Reba. I want some bubble gum, said Catherine. Sorry, girls, the doll is too expensive. Besides, one doll would not be easy to share, and the blowing bubbles and bubble gum would be messy. Let's look some more. How about this, Grandpa? We could share this. It isn't too expensive and won't make a mess, said Reba as she held up a brightly coloured box. I think that would be great fun, said Grandpa with a mischievous smile as he purchased a box of children's makeup crayons for his two little girls. Now don't mention this to the grandmothers, he said. Let's make it a surprise. Once home, Grandpa slipped the gift to the girls and they went outside to play. Open the box, open the box, Catherine said. Oh wow, look at the colours, Reba said. Let me see, let me see, called Catherine. I'll do your face, then you can do mine, okay? said Reba. No, I want to do your face first, said Catherine. I've seen Mum do this. Hold still. Look down and I'll put on blue eyeshadow. The black one is for your eyebrows and the pink one is for your cheeks. The red one is for your lips. You look great. Okay, your turn to do me. Catherine closed her eyes and pooched her lips as Reba painted her sister's face. I'm Miss America, said Catherine. I'm a movie star, said Reba, as they paraded around the backyard. Then came the familiar call from Great Grandma Ola. Reba and Catherine, come back to the house. Come in, Grandma, said the painted girls as they came waltzing in. One look at Grandma Vorna 
and the girls knew they were in trouble. What have you got all over your face? Where did you girls get this stuff? cried the grandmothers. Sheepishly, Reba and Catherine pointed to Grandpa Bill. Giving the girls a playful wink, he sat listening to the grandmothers scolding him for his choice. After some family laughter, all evidence was scrubbed from the faces of Reba and Catherine, and the makeup was never seen again. But the memory of a great grandfather enjoying a bit of mischief still warms their hearts. Great Grandpa Bill sure knew how to have some fun. Well, maybe a little too much fun. <laughs> Until next time, my young story timers, this is Mr. Whiskers saying meow and good night. Hello, everyone. Mr. Whiskers here. Enjoying our story times? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss a story. And tell your friends so they can join in the fun. Goodbye for meow. <laughs>